So we're back with another Do Not Buy, and this one is for Alaskan Road Truckers. And starting this one off, this game was supposed to release in 2020. It was under the name Alaskan Truck Simulator. So this game is three years late. It's had a name change and everything like that. And before I get into why not to buy it, I do have to thank the devs for giving me a key to their unbelievably terrible trucking game that is not an early access game. This is releasing as a full release and it will come out, I believe, within 24 hours of the time you see this video. Basically, there's an embargo for midnight on the 18th and it releases probably around 4 p.m. or something on the 18th and it will be available on Steam. I'm not sure if there are any other platforms, but I was playing it on Steam on the PC and uh, yeah we have a feast of different problems so i would grab some snacks get some popcorn get yourself comfy let's get into the problems so you start this game taking on a job delivering stuff to a location and uh, you can very very quickly see that the handling of the truck you begin with is like spinning a nissan sylvia around an s-bend it's like really really arcadey sort of drifty handling and that's horrible for any trucking game you want your trucks to be quite stiff not too stiff and nowhere near as drifty as these trucks are the first thing i did was found a bit of grass where there's a nice big patch in between a couple of trees i spun a 180 around it and there was no problem doing it at all and one thing i will say about this game that i like is the fact that you have to lock your trailer onto your cab you have to attach the cables and stuff but after a few jobs it gets really annoying and tedious and that is pretty much the only thing i enjoyed about this entire game I played about 90 minutes or so. There's roughly an hour and a half clocked on Steam. And what the devs did, I don't know why they decided to do this, especially because they changed it from Alaskan Truck Simulator to Alaska Road Truckers. They've uh, chucked in survival mechanics. You have health, like if you crash too much, your health would deplete. You have hunger and you have energy. So you need to eat, you need to sleep. But I did around a thousand miles of driving in the game. I never paid attention to any of the survival meters. Although what they do say is if those meters do fully deplete, you will die. And if you're currently on a job, you will fail that job automatically. And then we have the, uh, the petrol or the gas stations. You only ever fill up around five gallons of fuel. And it always costs around $20, no matter how much you've been driving before you fill it up. And the fuel gauge in the game at the bottom right does not work for the beginning truck. It will go down as you consume more fuel, but when you fill up, the gauge just never goes up. The icon for it never moves. But we'll get into other features on the HUD very soon. Then next up, we have the map. It's tiny. It's far too vertical. The map should have been way more square for a cargo delivery sort of game. But there is also a single road that takes you from like the center of the map. It takes you miles and miles up north. There's no reason for it whatsoever and like literally half the map is that single road there's no turn offs or anything like that but upon looking again at the map i noticed there was a do not enter sign saying that you're leaving the pre-beta game area so this game that they're charging you almost 20 pound for isn't even a beta version of the game but it definitely could actually be post beta or past the beta version of the game because that sign only appeared once and then it never showed up again. So there's a sign that came up once for me saying this is pre-beta, you can't access this area. And then upon looking at the map again, the sign had gone, so apparently it's past beta. And this is being released as a full fucking release on Steam. And when you're in your truck, there are no icons on your minimap for fuel stations or shops. You actually have to go into the main map and like every single time to see where everything is like the shops where you can buy your chocolate bars and your food sources and things like that where your motels are for your sleep to replenish that your like gas stations or whatever you have to go to your main map there's no icons on the mini map whatsoever and not only that at the bottom middle of the screen there's a massive prompt that will tell you to press f1 for the guide but f1 does not work you press it time and time again it takes you to no guide whatsoever you can access the guide you go to the map you click on guide but at the same time, it's always got buy-in trucks searched. Like for some reason, it defaults the guides to buy-in trucks. You can delete that and see the rest of the information there. But it's just simple little things like that that should have been picked up over the course of the years they've been working on this title. And they never picked up on any of it. And not only that, when you are driving, other cars around you, when you do find some, they don't indicate at turns, not from what I've seen anyway. They also don't slow down when they're turning. And when you're driving past a car and it's trying to turn a corner, yeah, they don't have any care in the world for you whatsoever. The AI is pretty much brain dead. They'll just smack straight into you and you have to pay for the incident. Even if it's not your fault, you have to pay for every incident. And the amount of money is ridiculous, but we'll get to that in a minute. 
And then later on in my session with the game, I got a prompt that popped up on the screen. It says there was an obstacle on the road ahead of me, but there was absolutely nothing. And alongside that, your minimap eventually, like from time to time, will go clear so you can't see any route or anything like that. And then it slowly fades back into existence and then out of existence again it goes. And it does it quite often. And not only that, this game was originally advertised as a dangerous Alaskan trucking simulator. And that still shows up on OBS because they never changed the EXE file name. But it's nothing like a simulator. I'm glad they changed the name. I've not actually seen a game degrade itself like this one has for a very, very long time. From what they've shown off to what they've delivered, yeah, it's, it's, it's like night and day. The difference is unbelievable. This game is awful to play. It's not fun at all. Because alongside all the problems previously mentioned in the video, the pop-in in this game is disgusting. I saw a massive wind turbine farm that didn't pop in until I was really close and they were all sat there as though they were just like JPEGs like stuck on the screen and then when I got even closer after they had already popped in then they started spinning and working so it takes ages for stuff to pop in and then when it does pop in it takes a long time to work after that as well and upon my journeys delivering some cargo I've already seen a car that was part way under the road and that was less than an hour into the game and it's lucky that I was on the other side of the road because I would have lost money for a collision that wouldn't have been my fault because the car was stuck underneath the road. And in this game there's no reason for lights or for your windscreen wipers because the game is still very light outside at midnight, even 2 o'clock in the morning. It still looks like daytime. And when you're driving over 45 miles an hour or in that sort of region, when you're in like cockpit view, when you're in first person, um, yeah, your windscreen is clear. There's no rain on it whatsoever. And you can barely actually see the rain coming down unless you pop into third person and you see it spewing down from the skies. And to top that off, there's barely any traffic on the roads. So it's pretty much just to see how fast your truck can go and get cargo from A to B. That's the whole point of this. And it's done really bad. It's executed so poorly. The whole game's laggy. Like It's trying to load everything in and it takes a long time to do it. And I also went to see the price of other trucks and they're about $30,000 or whatever your currency is, which isn't awful. But upon trying to buy parking slots so that I could claim a free truck that was available in the shop, the entire game crashed. So there's crashes, there's issues with loading and lag and pop in and everything like that. And not only that, the speed limit signs, or at least the one that I accidentally hit, or that I say hit, yeah, there's no collision. You can drive right through them. You also see random cars that are crashed by the side of roads. Like when it comes to the bridges, it's as if they've tried driving off the edge of the bridge, but they get stuck on the little curb bits at the side. So there's just random crashed vehicles. And if you do crash into a vehicle, like I mentioned earlier, they will throw random amounts at you for the like collision damage, the incident costs or whatever. And uh, yeah, I had costs ranging from 500 up to about 1200 that's as far as i've seen a full-on crash cost me about 800 to like pay for the incident but then there was a tiny little bumper nudge and it cost me 1100 so it's not based on the amount of damage you deal or anything like that it's just you crash into any vehicle in the game we're going to slap a random price on it and there you go you've paid for the incident and not only that everything seems to be about 300 miles away from where you are jobs are all very very similar at the start of the game and in my opinion, I cannot see people enjoying this after about two hours of gameplay, if you even enjoy it for that long, especially because you can earn XP for personality, for your trucking skills, and for being a mechanic, yet you get way more XP for your personality by simply accepting jobs than what you do for driving 600 miles delivering cargo for the trucking skill tree. And that skill tree is the one that you need for a better license to deliver different types of goods. Not only that, but my reputation in the game was three stars, but I can't accept the three star required jobs they're like grayed out or whatever I, I cannot take those jobs on because apparently my reputation is not high enough even though it's the same quality as what i need there is so so much wrong with this game that was literally an hour and a half's worth of gameplay and i managed to come up with that amount of problems in the game that they're going to charge you almost 20 pound for so after the amount of time they've spent developing it and talking about it and the lack of care they've put into the game i'm going to say do not buy it even in the like little gameplay preview they showed i think it was actually on ign's channel you could see the game trying to load everything in and struggle with that during a presentation of the game which says everything without anything that i've mentioned in this video 
it tells the entire story. So as we spoke about, the fuel gauge and everything doesn't work when you fill up your, like, or even empty your truck. It just, it doesn't really work. The, like, the symbol will go red. The gauge will go down a little bit. But when you fill it up, it doesn't go back up at all. And the red doesn't disappear either. So you're always seeming as though you're on an empty tank. But not only that, for the very long time after it started raining, it was telling me it was dry outside when it was pissing hard with rain. Some things in the game don't work, like your F1 button for your guide. You can do a 180 through grass to cut corners like I mentioned at the start. There's no speed in fine system or police system in the game, and it's just a complete waste of money that they're charging for it. What I would recommend for everyone is go buy yourself Euro Truck Sim 2, American Truck Simulator, or even grab Snow Runner or one of the old Mud Runner games. They're all a much better time than this piece of shit that I played. And I don't mean to sound harsh or anything, but people are going to be spending their money on this product, and it's an awful experience. And I'm going to say, like, this was in development way before they were supposed to release it back in 2020. So say it was in development for five years. They started in 2018, had a bunch of issues, were supposed to release it in 2020, delayed it on and off for years, release it in 2023. That's a five-year development. And I'm going to say this one needs another five years in the oven. This was nowhere near ready, and this is not releasing as an early access title. But yeah, that's my, uh, my rant and my do not buy on Alaskan Road Truckers. And on that note, we are going to leave the video there. If you enjoyed it, leaving a like is appreciated. If you wish to support me further as a creator, there are links in the description. Let me know your thoughts about the video in the comments. And if you want to watch more, you can click the video on screen. All support on the channel is greatly appreciated, and I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you for watching.